Batman is our superhero, and the only guy who is respected by not only heroes or people, but also by villains in any universe. Batman is the favorite hero of hundreds and thousands of people. Hello YouTube fam, welcome to Top Flicks. This video is going to reveal a few of the things you never knew about the Batman series, so stay tuned till the end. Over many, many years since Batman's creation, the Dark Knight has starred or co-starred in some of the greatest animated series to have ever hit television screens. Well, no doubt Batman has had a long career since his creation in 1939. He's been fighting crime and scaring criminals for 80 years, and he's showing no signs of stopping. Beginning in Detective Comics before moving to his own title a year later, Batman was the brainchild of Bob Kane and perhaps even more so Bill Finger. He has appeared in a variety of comic books over the years, as well as television shows, movies, radio plays, and more. Every so often, there will be a Batman resurgence, and the Caped Crusader will take front and center once again. It happened in 1966, 1989, and 2008, thanks to the films of those respective eras. Well, here we are with a list of the top five Batman animated series, but first, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon. With that out of the way, let's start the countdown. Number 5, Batman, The Brave and the Bold, 2008. Much like the Batman series of the 60s, Batman, The Brave and the Bold featured a lighter take on the Dark Knight. The series followed Batman as he teamed up with other, often overlooked or minor, heroes as they went up against different villains of the week. Throughout the series, Batman would team up with the likes of Plastic Man, Green Arrow, Jamie Reyes, The Blue Beetle, and many more. The show was a pivot away from darker, serious takes on the Dark Knight detective. Instead, the series provided profuse humor mixed in with stories that intensified the high adventure to be found in superhero comics, over the more grounded stories of the films and recent animated shows. 2D animation is used to bring the show to life, and the animations are more colorful. The sense of humor in the episodes and style of animation were able to attract a majority of young audiences towards the show. Diedrich Bader voiced Batman in this series. If I were to point out a drawback in this show, I would say the storyline doesn't at all attempt to incorporate Bruce Wayne. Batman's secret identity, Bruce Wayne, also does a great job as the White Knight of Gotham in other shows, yet in this series, writers have neglected that aspect. The show ran on Cartoon Network for three seasons and spawned a direct-to-video movie sequel that teamed Batman with Scooby-Doo. But have you watched it? Number 4. The New Batman Adventures, 1997 the new Batman Adventures featured Batman, Robin, Nightwing, and Batgirl. It served as the endurance of Batman, the animated series. The main difference is being that all events taking place in the new series happened two years after the old one, and the transformed artwork. Dick Grayson has grown up taking the costumed identity of Nightwing, with Tim Drake taking over as Robin. It featured a different style of animation, as it was produced two years after the original series ended its first run on the Fox network around the same time as Superman, the animated series, was being aired on the WB television network. The new Batman Adventures has more stylized character designs than before, and the colors are more vibrant and attractive. Batman has never looked sharper than he does here, and that's something I personally say with a lot of love. It also changed the continuity and aesthetic of the original series and utilized minimalistic animation, which was done digitally. The entire series consists of 24 episodes, which aired from September 13, 1997, to January 16, 1999. Batman has always been empowered with rich stories, and the new Batman Adventures continues that tradition beautifully. It's a sequel to Batman the Animated Series, but it stands its own ground proudly. Number 3. Batman Beyond, 1993 At first glance, I know many fans might be tempted to resent this series based simply on the fact that Bruce Wayne is not Batman. But don't be too quick to judge because you'll get to see a new side of Bruce Wayne you've never seen before in any of the other TV series. Batman Beyond began airing in 1999 and followed Terry McGinnis as the Batman of the future, working for Conroy's elderly Bruce Wayne. Batman Beyond developed a dedicated fan base that included fans of Conroy's previous work with Batman the Animated Series. While series like Batman the Animated Series and The Batman would bring critical acclaim in the form of Emmys to the feet of Batman, there is perhaps no Batman series that was more revolutionary than Batman Beyond. The characters were engaging and interesting, and each episode is packed with fun action sequences. By combining complex plot, intelligent dialogue, great Japanimation, and incredible cast of voices, Warner Brothers has recapitalized the Batman myth for yet another generation. 
This new series is so smart and so edgy that anyone would constantly be amazed by the levels of irony and metaphor. For the first time in history, a Batman series dared to go outside of the established canon with the exception of the creation of Harley Quinn. Batman Beyond would show the world where Bruce's life of fighting crime would lead him, and more importantly, it would introduce the world to Terry McGinnis and the future of Gotham. Number 2. Batman The Animated Series, 1992 Of course, how can we forget the world-renowned Batman The Animated Series? Now, don't go all thundering typhoons on me for giving the second position for your most beloved TV series. Before you judge, just hear me out. Just like Kevin Conroy first made his mark as Bruce Wayne, Batman in Bruce Timm's Batman the Animated Series revolutionized the comic book cartoons, inspiring a whole lot of new heroes and titles to surface. The series managed to find fans with both longtime Batman fans and young Saturday morning cartoon fans thanks to its deep exploration of the Dark Knight and his villains. With an uncanny mix of menacing sharp edges and mysterious moving images, the animation captured the beauty of Bob Kane's original creation and put the Dark Knight in a world that felt as dangerously real, which the powerless yet intelligent vigilante bravely faced. The soundtrack struck all the right notes. One of my favorite things about this series is that every episode has its own orchestral score, meaning the music that you hear is tailored to fit the exact moment you're watching. The single criticisms I see related to this show is that they avoided doing a complete episode revolving around Batman's origin, and the color palette lacked variance and colorfulness, to be honest, which you love in both the new Batman adventures and the number one pick of the day. The voice acting outpaced any live-action interpretations, and the consistent depth in each new episode built grand, meaningful, half-hour arcs that still resonate, whether you watched as a child or tuned in as an adult. So, comment down below. When did you tune in? And number one, The Batman, 2004. Although the series obtains many elements from previous Batman storylines, it does not follow the continuity set by the comic books nor that of the previous Batman the Animated Series or its spin-offs. Also, the animation style takes a dramatic turn from the earlier series, bringing out fresh and colorful designs of many characters like the Joker, the Riddler, Firefly, Catwoman, in addition to Batman and Bruce Wayne. The series made its world premiere on Kids WB in the United States on September 11, 2004. Well, guys, this show was a really cool and unique take on Batman's character. The show didn't ever feel like a previous iteration of Batman, and that's why, in my opinion, the show is awesome, but also why the show is hated by some people. I guess they feel as if it differs too much from the comics. To be honest, guys, change is not always bad. In terms of characters, Bruce Wayne is in his late 20s and has only been Batman for a short while, therefore a lot of his villains are given new origins. This version of Bruce is still learning the ropes and trying to balance out his personal life and his life as Batman which is a really interesting choice for Batman's character. Throughout the five seasons, we see story development as Batman's life unveils. At the beginning, Bruce loses his closest friend, Ethan Bennett, and he's left with a feeling of loneliness. Other than Alfred, he has no one to call family or friend. But with more story development, he gets close to Detective Yin and becomes acquainted with Commissioner Gordon. Batgirl and Robin join the Bat family in season three and four, respectively, and when the Batman is in need, the Justice League comes to aid. The whole story tells us how it begins with loneliness and develops its way to the cherished bonds of family. If we look at the villains, they're basically rewritten from the ground up, too. For example, the Joker is even more mysterious than usual. He can also match Batman physically, and is much more acrobatic than other depictions of the character. Then there's Bane, who has a futuristic armor that infuses his blood with venom and gives him superhuman abilities and makes his skin turn red. Catwoman is also much more of a villain than an anti-hero in the show, which is just one of the many different aspects of the show. The series even shows where and how he got his technologies. Bruce, using his team in Wayne Industries to engineer a new engine for the new Batmobile and how he assembles and programs the new Batmobile is tremendous. Also, how the Batman takes strategic measures to protect his identity is very logical. Someone tries to remove the cowl of Batman, the mask triggers an electric pulse which numbs or paralyzes the attacker. Overall, the show has some awesome action, a pretty good story, but the show doesn't feel familiar even if you've watched other Batman shows, but that's not a bad thing. So, that's a wrap for this video. Which Batman series was your favorite? And wasn't all this nostalgic? Let us know the answers to all those questions in the comment section. And if you like this video, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share it with your pals. See you soon in the next video. Until then, take care and stay safe. And uh, keep watching our videos.